guys, Alexi Bank here coming at you again with another YouTube video. So today I'm just going to go over the do's and don'ts of what I do for chest day, how I really grow my chest. <laughs> Real quick, today's workout is sponsored by Rise Supplements as always. The Blackout is the best high speed workout by Hot Burst. Here's the ingredients if you want to check it out yourself. Focus, there we go. All right, so the first chest exercise we're going over that you need to include in all your routines is going to be the barbell or the dumbbell flat bench press. Basically, I like to switch between dumbbell and barbell just to kind of switch it up. I honestly like dumbbells more, though, because you get better range of motion. Uh, they're just uh, a little bit easier on people's shoulders. Plus, it kind of you know helps prevent muscle imbalances because you're, you're you and the equal weight on each side. Usually, if you have a stronger pec when you do barbell, you might be pushing a little bit more with one side. Biggest thing when you go to bench pressing is keep your shoulder blades retracted. It's going to keep your shoulders the healthiest, not let them get hurt. And it's going to kind of activate your chest a little bit more when you do it that way. For me, I like to use benching. Flat benching is my main compound lift for building you know mass in my pecs. Uh, that's, you know, therefore I don't go any lower or any higher than 10 reps and I don't go any lower than six reps for like the rep ranges working sets I do about five. Um, so this is my, my mass movement. I don't go under six reps cause I don't do any one rep maxes for the best hypertrophy point, you know, six reps is going to be ideal. And because you're doing a mass building movement, you don't really need to go over 10 reps. So that's what I do for chest or uh, for bench pressing. And I uh, need to be including some type of uh, flat bench press. I think in every, uh, in every, every workout or incline incline. I'm going to talk about later in this video. Next exercise that you need to be including in your chest routines is going to be some type of plate loaded press or a uh, hammer strength press or something like that. Uh, the reason I like plate loaded presses so much is because they're really good for getting a great mind muscle connection, a really good stretch and contraction, and they're a little bit easier on people's shoulders. Some people have rotator cuff issues and they've been shown to you know kind of help out. This video I'm doing de the decline hammer strength press, which is by far my favorite one. I like the decline the most. I get the best contraction with it. I like these because you can really focus on having good time and retention, so you can focus on tearing the fibers down a little bit more it's easier to do drop sets on these because you can you know take the plates off really easily so for me rep counts for this round maybe 8 to 12 more of a hypertrophy workout still a good mass builder for chest so if you don't like benching or barbell benching or dumbbell benching at all you can stick with hammer strength pressing or plate pressing and you'll be fine doing it just like this you'll still build good mass in your chest um but yeah so highly recommend picking some type of plate loaded press in all your chest workouts the next thing we're gonna be going over are flies. So cable flies, uh, my favorite are the high to low cable flies. This is so good for getting a great stretch, stretch and contraction in your chest, really good blood flow. Um, I like to do these for pre-exhaustion or at the end of my workout. Pre-exhaustion, basically, I'll do three sets of like 15 or 20 reps to get some blood flow in my chest. Pre-exhaustion allows you to basically get blood in your chest before you go into the heavier compound lifts. So therefore you have a better mind muscle connection. A lot of people struggle with having issues with that. They'll feel too much in the front delt when they're bench pressing. Try out pre-exhausting by doing cable flies before your bench press and I bet you, you'll feel it a whole lot more. Now you don't just have to do high to low cable flies. There's other variations you can do with flies. You can do dumbbell flies. You can do pec deck. You can do seated cable flies. You can do uh, play around with different variations of a fly. It's all the same movement, but it does hit the muscle at different angles. Really good for kind of changing it up, keeping it not boring. Um, also, one thing I like to do at the end of my workout sometimes is this thing called FST7 with cable flies. Basically, fastest stretch training developed by Hani Rambod, Mr. Olympia coach. Uh, pick seven sets of a cable fly. And you're, you're going to do seven sets of it with 30 seconds resting in between those sets. And in between those sets, you're going to be stretching your uh, your pecs out or uh, contracting them as hard as you can. You're going to get a ton of blood flow. It's really just a good to kind of volume, volumize your chest and it stretch the fascia. That's like the science behind it. But try it out. I love doing those when I uh, my chest workouts get boring. But yeah, cable flies are elite. Definitely by far probably my favorite chest exercise. Just the best isolation movement for them. And then actually towards the end of my uh, my flies when I get fatigued, I'll like to I'll press. I'll do some presses just again, get a bang a few uh, extra reps out and. And you'll be able to do it because you're stronger in a press versus strong your uh, your strength in a fly. Um, but yeah, the next thing we're gonna be going over what you need to be doing is some type of incline pressing, either barbell or dumbbell. Again, uh, the thing is, I'm gonna tell you about a lot of people are like, oh, you're not. Why aren't you touching your chest on the on the barbell on the incline? You don't need to touch your chest. If you know who uh, Mountain Dog is, he's a, he's a known bodybuilder and he's really smart with this training. And he's huge. He says that you're not supposed to touch your chest because you kind of let go of the tension when you're touching your chest. If you stop about two inches above your chest, you're gonna feel a way better stretch and contraction in your upper pec. I tried this for the first time recently and it was a huge difference drop the weight a little bit drop the ego stop about two inches above your chest i swear you'll feel it way more in your upper pecs don't let it touch your chest try it out incline pressing though is gonna be great i like dumbbell pressing a little bit more for incline just because again i like getting a better stretch on my chest the cool thing about incline versus flat is that you get a way better stretch and having a better stretch having better um uh, your muscle fibers you know rip apart more is always going to be better for more uh hypertrophic hypertrophic gains in the long run so uh 
You'll see when I do these uh, dumbbell incline presses, I turn my thumbs towards the ceiling at the top of the rep movement. Try these out, you'll get a way better contraction on your chest. I learned this from Anthony Mantello when I was out in LA with him uh, for when uh, going about dumbbell pressing for shoulders, but you can do the same thing for chest. Just basically turn your thumbs up at the top, get a way better contraction. You gotta try it out. Usually I like to start off all my chest workouts with the incline press, and then usually I'll do the flat press later in the lift just because I like to have uh, be the strongest with the incline benching. A lot of people have a uh, underdeveloped upper chest, which is really crucial to having a really well-rounded physique it kind of helps tie into your front delt it's going to look really good from like side chest angles and stuff like that so really prioritize your upper chest as much as you can and you'll see a big change in your physique in the long run so those are the four exercises that you need to be including in all your chest routines if you really want to build up really full adequate chest now i'm going to go over a few exercises that are kind of useless and you're really just wasting your time on um, you should you should replace these exercises with one of the ones I mentioned earlier. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is decline bench pressing. Decline is really not worth it. You really don't get anything extra out of it. First off, you're decreasing the range of motion in your chest, which I talked about with the incline one, is really the opposite thing of what you want to do. You want to have a more range of motion to tear down those fibers even more. With decline, you're really having a low range of motion. Yeah, you'll be a little bit stronger. People are like, oh, I want to build my my lower chest up. There's no there's no lower chest. There's no there are lower chest fibers, yes, but there's not a separate muscle group for your lower chest. That usually comes from just genetics if you train flat flat bench enough you're, you're really going to build your lower chest up perfectly fine you don't have to do decline bench um but yeah so i don't recommend doing decline benching at all you'll get way better bang for your buck doing one of the other movements that i mentioned above like doing incline or flat next thing i'm gonna be going over are dips so i love doing dips for chest but the way i see people do dips in the gym is completely the wrong way to do them everybody does them a lot of people do them vertically uh, they think they're hitting their chest so really you're hitting your triceps and your front delt more than your pecs you need to really over exaggerate the movement of leaning forward almost where your upper back is horizontal to the floor that's when you're really going to be hitting your chest and that's the only way you should be doing dips if you're trying to target your chest another thing you shouldn't be doing are like machine press dips if you're trying to do machine dips to build your chest you're really wasting your time again it's going to hit more of your front delt more of your tricep more of a tricep mass builder rather than hitting your pecs unless you want to re lean over again like i said horizontally leaning over that's the only way you're going to really hit your uh, your chest and usually when you do dips you're going to be hitting your lower chest a little bit more than uh, anything else but but yeah so that's it for that part uh, i'm gonna get to the outro all right guys so that is it for today's video Haley. thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe um i do have merch coming out next week so be sure to check that out Thank also man. use code alex for a rise and raw here and see ya <laughs> yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you guys did learn something and enjoyed it please like comment subscribe turn the bell notification on so you're always up to date when i upload got a lot of content coming out here Haley's helping me record so it helps out but yeah merch is dropping tuesday at noon eastern standard time got a bunch of cool stuff coming out so stay tuned for that support your boy but yeah, also got a new website drop on Shopify. I'm switching over to Shopify right now. I'm actually working on it. So yeah, love you guys. Thank you for the thank you for all love and support. Uh, peace out. God bless you. Guys.